Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for December 21st to the 27th. My name is Johanna. Uh, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for the week. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest. It may not resonate with everyone as it is general, so you can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign for some additional messages as well. All right. If you are somebody who possibly is waiting for... Um, the air and the earth sign readings for mid-December. They are coming. I'm just a little bit behind. Um, I'm hoping either tonight, which is when I'm posting them, or uh, which is the 15th, <laughs> and uh, either tonight or tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, some of you might not care <laughs> if you don't watch those signs, but um, they are coming otherwise. So let's see kind of where we go for Scorpio here. What is going on for Scorpio? Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? We're gonna look at some Oracle messages first here to start and then we're gonna get into the tarot. Okay, we have hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. All right. And then we have come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team help get, helps get the job done. Okay. So let's see what else. There's something about like, um, I think like, I'm getting like hanging out with friends or talking with friends, whatever, um, in order to kind of like lift your spirits a little bit. Also changing your mindset a little bit. So maybe you need to talk to people or talk with somebody, which will help to kind of change your mindset around something. Whatever you're negatively going through right now, you need to kind of switch your mindset a little bit. Okay. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Scorpio. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well being. So, um,. Yeah, there's a need to kind of like just have hope that everything will work out all in when it's supposed to, divine timing, whatever you want to call it. Um, but also just like, again, accepting responsibility for your well-being. So that's your mindset too, right? Like how you feel about a situation, that's a little bit on you, right? We have, behind that we have loneliness. I'm never alone or I know that I'm never alone. Um, there's definitely something about like, some sort of like needing some sort of like social time it's funny because behind that we have divination and manifestation so this i feel is like that have patience things will work out um but also be very clear about what it is that you want to manifest um, and what you want to bring right into your life um you need to be clear so the universe can bring that in for you but you also need to be patient so let's see where we go here for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, what is going on for this week? November 21st to the 27th for Scorpio. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. What else do we have for Scorpio, please?
Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Two of Wands. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Six of Wands. The Empress at the bottom here. Okay. So, our first section, which sometimes is the past. Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, there could be just like you're definitely overthinking a situation with the Nine of Swords. Um, there's something about how much effort somebody is putting in, or how much effort you're putting into a situation. Like it's almost like you want to take action towards a situation, or you want to put the work in but you're also like caught up in your head about it and can't really process things properly the way that you need to. Um, like you feel small, like you're, you're not capable of this, this eight of pentacles and the knight of wands. Or it's like you don't know how to take action towards something or someone and you, or you don't know uh, how to put the effort in. You, it's like you don't, you don't really know what's going on with that there's like a lot of like confusion but a lot of like overthinking which I think is also <clears throat> um holding you back in some aspect then we have the queen of cups the knight of pentacles and the two of wands there could be somebody slowly coming towards you I feel like you're this queen of cups I feel like there's possibly somebody coming towards you um I don't know if it's a new person or not it's not really giving me that we'll clarify so um I feel like this person is meant to be on your path in some aspect good or bad um but like you're very much in your like feminine energy with the empress here and the queen of cups um and then we have the eight of wands ten of wands six of wands Okay, so I feel like you're pushing past a block. Whatever was like hard and challenging, like that's, you're moving beyond that. And I feel like that's why there's like this success. You feel really good about the situation. It's like, you finally feel like you've put the burden down. You finally feel like you've moved on, essentially. Um, again, there's also like that, like having hope, processing things. Um, So let's kind of clarify this stuff. I want to see what this Empress is doing. Clarify the Empress here. Ace of Pentacles. The world. So there's definitely a new opportunity within the next year is what I'm getting. A new opportunity coming towards you. And I think it's brand new. Ace of Pentacles. Could be by the end of the year as well. But I feel like you're just, things are working really good in your favor. Like you're looking really good. You're really abundant. There's so much potential. Um, and there could be a lot of potential in this new opportunity as well. So let's see. What, uh, uh, clarify this Nine of Swords for me, because this is, like, holding you back. Clarify this Nine of Swords, please, for Scorpio. Temperance. So, yeah, you gotta, like, balance yourself out a little bit here. Um, you gotta find some happiness again, like, find, find the light a little bit. Um, it's not really something to laugh about, but there's something about, like, finding happiness, finding joy, finding that hope, right? Uh, you're kind of in this like negative mindset of, um, it's like, again, it's changing that negative, my, uh, negative situation into a positive one. That's literally the nine of swords to the sun. It, that's what that is, right? 
Uh, and with the temperance here, it's saying like that this is what you need to do. What is this Knight of Wands? Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like this person was blocking you or they shut you out, they ghosted you. It's like, because the, the Eight of Pentacles is facing the Knight of Wands, but the Knight of Wands is facing away. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Like, I'm getting somebody wanted to work on this, the other person didn't. Somebody stopped putting effort in as well. Like, they, they walked away from a situation, they stopped putting effort in. Yeah, death. Something ended here between, I guess, you and this Knight of Wands. So let's see here. What is this, uh, what's this Knight of Pentacles here in the middle here? Because I kind of feel like it's maybe somebody different. Uh, we have the Four of Swords and the Princess of Swords. Okay, so somebody is not really taking action towards you. They may send you a message, but I feel like with the Four of Swords, they're not. I feel like they're just kind of like watching you. Um, they could just kind of be watching you. There's something about... Um, Stability. They could be trying to get themselves stable because we have the four of wands at the bottom as well as the four of swords. So there's something like mentally or within their material. They may feel like they need to like level up to, to come see you because they are a knight and you're a queen. Possibly the empress. Clarify the queen of cups because I want to see what you're doing here. What is this queen of cups? Queen of Cups. What are you doing here? Princess of Wands with the Moon. I feel like with this new moon, you're getting like a new spark, a new inspiration. You could be working on a creative project. Um, there's definitely some sort of like almost like a closure that you're getting. You're moving on, I think or you will be moving on to something new. Um, there can also be the Princess of Wands is facing the Queen of Cups, so you there could be an opportunity coming in towards you. What is this Two of Wands? Judgment. There's a decision here about a person. I'm not sure if it's this King of Pentacles character or if it's this other one. Again, there's something about being very clear on what you want. Do you want to move forward or do you want to stay in the past? So let's see, what is this, uh, what's this 10 of wands here in what would be the future position? What is this 10 of wands? The star, yeah, you're getting over this situation. Hanged man, you're looking, again, looking at things from a different perspective. You, I feel like in the future here, you've changed your mindset. You've healed yourself. You've, you're putting this burden down with this Ten of Wands. What is this Six of Wands? What is this Six of Wands here in the near future for Scorpio? The sun, yeah, you're just a lot happier. The sun, yeah, I knew it. The sun, the ace of cups, and the two of cups. There's definitely a new relationship or a new person that's coming in towards you. Again, I feel like that's what this new opportunity is. It has a lot of potential. It's, it has a lot of growth. It's going to make you very happy. Um, 
I feel like you're moving forward with that and you're and you're letting go of this past person. Um, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, yeah. Definitely a committed relationship, whoever this person is coming in towards you. Could be this Knight of Pentacles here who seems to be watching you, not necessarily taking any action towards you. Um, you might not be communicating with this person yet, but in the near future, I see you moving on into a new relationship here. Um, not with this same person. There's definitely something new. So let's see what other Oracle messages from the Moonology deck we have for you, Scorpio. Okay, so we have, look at the bigger picture, surrender to the, the divine, take time to breathe out. So this is again, changing your mindset and just uh, having that patience and knowing that everything will be brought in when it's supposed to, just let things kind of process. And then we have the energy is gaining momentum. So there can be, again, I feel like either by the end of this year or like in the next year, um, I feel like there's something here that, I feel like you're gaining the momentum to move on from this situation. I feel like you just need to kind of give yourself some space, try to change your mindset around things and just say like, okay, well, if this person left, then they weren't meant to be in my life right now and just kind of like go from there. We have confidence is your key to success at the bottom. So definitely believing in yourself, right? Believing that you're great. And if this person doesn't want to be with you, then that's their, that's their problem, right? Um, that's, that's, has to do with them and them only, right? So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this resonated with you. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.